the Gold Medal Shooting Academy is going to be talking about what we're doing like this weekend. Uh, starting Friday, we have a coaches clinic here where we certify coaches through a level one process. And what we do is it allows them to stay on the same play page so they learn this triangle method, learning all six points that we went over today in the classroom, you know, from the, the break point, hold point, speed, placement, feel, and focus. Those things have to happen every single time. So it gets everybody on the same play page. Why is that important? It's important because you can't have four instructors out here all teaching a different method, so it gets everybody confused. You have to keep everybody basically together. When you look at the very best shooters, we're on track, okay? We're doing it exact, teaching exactly how you're going to see the very best players executing the shot. There's only one out of ten that can fire and hit anything. Everybody works the bird properly. When you see the best shooters, they're very smooth and in balance. Always like that. That's called connected. That's the biggest part of our game. That maintain system is really our foundation, really, to slow the bird down the mind's eye. And you teach all levels of proficiency and all ages? All ages. As long as they're young, when they're young, they have to be strong enough, strong enough to know gun safety, and strong enough to lift the gun, and they're ready. It could be nine, it have, might be twelve, but you know, up to after that point, we work with anybody and everybody. So, what's a good way to introduce a uh, a young shooter to shooting if you don't have? Somebody like you available immediately. Well, you, know, you want to go and get some basic instruction. I think most of uh, the instructors out there probably try to do a great job. The hard part about it is they really don't teach kids how to focus on the bird properly. See, the, that subconscious gets instilled with the wrong information, and you, you got it for life. The best players have this thing about looking at the bird. That's the magic. The hands you're going to learn eventually. You're going to learn from the tennis ball after a couple thousand times, okay? So you're going to learn the hands part, the hard part, staying focused to the bird through the shot. And that's it. That's the part of you that has to come natural and not that brain fighting you to look at the barrel the whole time. So How long is a clinic? Lessons, when you get lessons from people for your son, you know, it's just as easy to, to go somewhere that's... That's the credibility, basically, that you can do a little research on them to see if they produced any champions or if they're what kind of system or method or call them and talk to them about it. That'd be the best thing to do. And if somebody wants to get in touch with you, what do they do? You just give me a call or you're going to go on the website to Gold Medal Shooting Academy, uh, shootingforgold.com, and you'll be able to get all our numbers right there and, and look at our programs. We have clinics all over the country. Perfect. One last piece of advice, free advice in this part. Uh, for everybody that's listening who's plateaued uh, at shooting, we hear it every day. Every day. How do you crack that? Well, you, what you have to do, they're doing something really wrong bad. It's either there are fundamentals in the beginning, the approach to the bird, because you have to have the right approach in the beginning to get the perfect shot or the perfect opportunity for the perfect shot, all right? Either that's going to be the problem in the very beginning when they're approaching the bird, is it beating them, or they're coming out in front waiting for it. Something's going to be going wrong there, or uh, they're not focusing on the bird when they make their so they have a little subconscious conscious battle. So we teach those guys that don't see the bird clearly routines. You know, that mental routine you have to run. The other side is the mechanical side. So if they're having problems there and they see the bird good, they're breaking 85 but can't get to 95. So, but they're right in the hunt. They just can't break over the edge. It's just something small. It's either a little bit of mechanical or a little bit of focus. One of the two things are going to be happening. So train 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 practice 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 and then repeat yes but you have to train properly and you know a good shooter can step back and kind of analyze his own shot and go hey it beat me or that that didn't feel connected or oh god i didn't see it one thing about the best players when we fire the gun when i'm loading for the next pair my mind is like, okay what'd you see on that one when everybody else and they never think of that they're just loading the gun closing it, looking over, calling pull again. We're going, okay, I saw a round. Even though I hit it, it's not right. So that's how we stay in the game the whole time. So that you, you're going to get away with the round. You're going to hit 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10, but there's going to be 2 in there you're going to miss. So you hit it, you wake up call is all it really is. It's that wake up part of you that says, hey, I didn't look at that. Come on, get off of it. You've got to see this one. And then you get back in the saddle again, okay? Give us that uh, web address again. It's uh, sh uh, shootforgold.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.